Galactic Navy Officer Becomes an Adventurer, written by Edo, Chapter 45 Preparing for the Journey 2 Part 3. It's okay. You're the savior of our branch, you know. It'll be fine if you deliver them on the day of your departure. Now then, we'll be quite busy for the next few days. For now, I'll have to place an order for parts to the workshop. Since the chief looks like she'll be busy, we parted halfway and I went back to the inn. When I came back, it seemed that Cleria and the rest of the girls still hadn't returned from their shopping. I asked for some tea from Sarah Chan. After a bit, Verse came out with a platter of cookies and joined me on the table. Yo, Alan. Are the preparations for your journey going smoothly? Yep. No problem. We'll probably be able to set out after three days. I see. It's kinda regrettable, though. I still wanted to learn recipes from you, Alan. Sorry about this. It was kinda sudden for us, too. Right. Can you hang out with me this afternoon? You want to learn more recipes, right? We really owe Verse a lot. I want to repay his kindness as much as I can. Oh, as expected of Alan. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's go to the market in the afternoon to buy some ingredients then. Yeah, that sounds great. Well then, want me to help out with today's lunch? What's the menu for today? In Verse's Inn, the customers did not order individually. Instead, they were served a set meal each day with the menu changing constantly. It was basically up to Verse to decide on the menu per day. Let's see. I was thinking of making some fried rice paired with soup. The soup has already been prepared, and we got a lot of rice too. I went together with Verse inside the kitchen and checked the ingredients. How much should we cook? Let's see. There are some dine-only customers as well, so I guess food enough for 15 people should do. Okay. I'll teach you a dish called omelet rice then. It's kind of the same as fried rice, but its appearance and flavoring are quite different. I'll demonstrate cooking one dish for you first. It was perfect since there were plenty of tomatoes and rice available. First, I sauteed minced garlic in oil, then added some minced onions, and lastly, poured in a nice amount of minced tomatoes and cooked the mixture well. When I judged that it was simmered enough, I added some salt to taste, and successfully cooked some homemade tomato sauce. I diced some black bird thigh meat and sautéed them together with minced onions. I then added some rice and mixed them thoroughly. As for flavoring, I used my newly made tomato sauce, some salt, and some black pepper. I also added a dash of soy sauce for a bit more depth. With this, the chicken rice is done. I placed the freshly cooked dish on a plate. And now, it's finally time to make that omurus. I took some eggs, scrambled them, and poured the mixture into the frying pan. I spread the scrambled egg mixture out along the surface of the pan so it'll turn out nice and flat when fully cooked. I'm aiming for a creamy and fluffy egg omelet to complete the omurus dish. When I saw that it was cooked nice and fluffy enough, I took the plate with the chicken rice and spread it out on top of the egg omelet. I then carefully wrapped the omelet around it. I jerked the frying pan lightly and finished wrapping the chicken rice filling with the omelet in one go. It looks like it went well. I placed it on a plate and put a liberal amount of tomato sauce on top. I then sprinkled some herbs on top as well, finally completing the omelet rice. This is how the cooking process for this dish basically goes. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Oh, sure looks tasty. The combo between the fluffy and creamy egg omelet the flavorful chicken rice, and the rich tomato sauce slathered on top was really great. I'm satisfied with this dish. This truly is delicious, Alan, but it's my first time seeing such an unusual-looking dish. I'm sure this'll be a hit as well. I'm glad you like it. The important key to this dish is leaving the egg omelet wrapping half done in order to achieve that creamy and fluffy consistency. Do you want to practice cooking it a bit? Sure. I'll give it a go. Verse didn't quite get it the first time, but he did end up doing a good job on the second try. As expected of a skilled chef, I taught him some other wrapping methods using the egg omelet to give the appearance of the dish some variety. After a while more, orders finally started coming in. I then cooked up batches of omura servings with Verse in the kitchen to serve to the customers. After just a few tries, 
Verse perfected his omelet rice cooking skills. The diners were really surprised by today's dish and said it was really delicious. Sarah Chan announced. I thought so. Alan, let's cook up some more. Got it. It's great to do this every once in a while. I'm really enjoying this. Right? Hey, Alan. If you ever quit adventuring, you're welcome to work at this inn. Nah, well, I have some comrades with me, you see. And I also have a goal I'm striving toward, so I can't really do that. Well, that's fine, too. I've always just cooked for myself and my friends in the past. But cooking for customers is a fresh new experience. And I'm really enjoying it. After we cooked up enough Omura servings for ten or so people, Sarah Chan came into the kitchen. Alan San, Ria San and the others are back. Oh, I see. I'll take a look first. It looks like Cleria and the others just came back since they still had the stuff they bought with them. Ah, uh, Alan. We're sorry for being this late. We couldn't decide on what to buy right away. Selena said as she smiled in apology. The other girls had apologetic expressions on their faces as well. Uh, I'm actually glad I wasn't forced to tag along on their shopping spree, to be honest. I don't really mind. Let's have our lunch here today. I just taught Verse a new dish, so try it and give me your impressions. Okay. We're gonna put away our stuff and come straight back. I went back to the kitchen and cooked a few more portions of Omuris. We're gonna have our lunch here today, Verse. Is it okay? Lunch wasn't included in the in fees we paid when we first checked in. So I made it a point to have our lunch outside as much as possible. Well, it isn't like we actually paid enough of the fees to begin with. What are you sounding so distant for? Just eat as much as you want. I and Verse cooked up enough Omura servings for five people and carried the freshly cooked dishes out of the kitchen. Everyone else was already sitting around a table. Oh, this is... An egg dish? Cleria excitedly asked. Well, it's actually a rice dish. Well, just go ahead and try it out. This is... Rice was actually wrapped within the egg? Cleria exclaimed in surprise. Well, this is basically a dish where fried rice is enveloped by an egg wrapping. It's called omelet rice. Omelet rice, as expected of Alan. This dish is also absolutely delicious. It really is delicious. The half-done egg wrapping is so creamy and fluffy. I just can't get enough of it. Selena praised. It looks like they really liked this one as well. Everyone was entranced by the food and ate with gusto. I made an extra large serving for Cleria, but she finished it off in no time. Um, guys, I promised to hang out with Verse in the afternoon to teach him some more new dishes. Is it okay? I think you should just do what you want, Alan. We're really indebted to this inn's owners as well, Cleria answered. Well then, we will continue with our sword practice sessions just like yesterday. We'd like to formally register as adventurers at the guild either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow as well. Sharon informed me. Oh right. Selena and Sharon haven't formally registered themselves as adventurers yet, huh? I'd like to give them pointers for the assessment test before they go through with the registration though. Then Elna and I will accompany them as well. Cleria offered. I see. So we'll each do our own stuff in the afternoon then. We finished up the rest of the omelet rice in a flash, and after having our usual after-meal tea, we separated for some cooking lessons and sword practice sessions respectively.